Hey YouTube, here I am again with my Smart Parts Ion. Uh, today I'm going to do a board video for you. Um, I know there's a couple of videos like this on YouTube already, which is pretty much why I have, a, have decided not to do it, um, because basically there's already, I think, two videos that are alright. But I've been asked plenty of times, and uh, instead of just uh, telling them to go somewhere, I guess I'll make my own, against my better judgment. But... Here you go. I'm sorry to you people that have already made board videos. I I don't really mean to steal your idea, but I I've been asked plenty of times to do it, so I will. All right. So start by removing your grips, as you all should know if you have an eye on already. And basically, well, most other guns. To get to the board, you need to open the grips. Uh, I'm just going to fold this behind the trigger frame so you can see better. There's a trigger guard, I suppose. Alright, there we go. So here's your board. Basically the board's just up here and it's a little bit inside the body of the frame up there. So connect a battery. I'm just going to leave it outside so you can see a little bit better. Um, Alright, so... Um, of course, your power button, you should all know this, turns on the ion and turns on and off your eyes. And, of course, this gray button right here, inside the, on the board itself, on the inside of the grips, is the program button, which is pretty much how you set the settings on your board. First of all, you have to turn on the board. Just press this button, hold it down for three seconds or so. Okay, so I turned on the ion, just held it down for three seconds, then when it comes on, it's in eyes-on mode. So basically, um, when it's in one blink, it blinks once every, I don't know, two seconds or so, means the eyes are on. So if you stick your finger in here, it will begin to blink rapidly, meaning that there's something blocking the eyes. So now, I don't know if you can hear that, but every time I pull the trigger, at least, you'll see the light blink. Uh, that means that it would be firing if there was air in it. So now you're blocking the eyes. So when it's blinking rapidly, the eyes are blocked. Um, keep in mind, if you turn on the ion, and uh, and it's blinking rapidly, that means either your eyes are blocked, so either you have a paintball or something is in the breach there, or your bolt is forward, because your bolt can be forward and be blocking the eyes, so you might want to, uh, you can just push it back through the, uh, through the breach there. Or the other uh, thing that could uh, be causing that is either dirty eyes, you might have to clean your eyes because you broke paint or something inside the gun, or uh, that your connectors are either out on the eye board, on the eye circuit board in there, or the connector is out here. So basically, if you look in here and the eyes are clean, and I mean, that's pretty hard to tell, but if the uh, bolt isn't forward and, like, there's nothing blocking it, you should take it apart and make sure that the connectors are both connected, and then you can try it when it's outside of the gun, and it's a bit easier to, to figure out. Okay, then you press the power button again, and it will begin to double blink. This means eyes off. So if you have air, you can dry fire now because there's uh, it's not waiting for the eyes to see something. So um, yeah, then eyes off is double blink. It'll double blink about every two seconds or so, or maybe one second. I don't know. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna leave it in eyes off. Now we'll go down to this program button right here, down here on the board. Uh, it might be harder to see now that the lights are off, but whatever. Um, press this, and you're now in program mode. Um, basically, once you've pressed this, you can scroll through the menu, uh, through what you can do, and then whenever you want to get out of it, you can just press the trigger, and it saves your settings, and you can test them out, uh, if your eyes are off. You can just dry fire. Okay, so I'm just gonna scroll through and tell you what they are. Um, this is dwell up, and this is dwell down. I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna put a small description of what dwell is on that side of the video over there somewhere. Um, it's just going to be brief, so I might link it to uh, another website that better describes it. Okay, next up is, uh, it's called Rate of Fire, but uh, us people that actually understand what it does, um, we actually call it Recharge. Um, I'll, I'll try to briefly display, explain it over there somewhere, but... Um, this is recharge up, and this is recharge down. So basically, um, you know what, I'll, I'll explain it later. Okay, yeah. This is modes. <coughs> uh, triple blink is modes. 
Uh, so the bottom mode is semi, and then if I uh, click this, it'll go up one, which is rebound or ramping actually. Uh, up another one is I think three shot, and then up another one is full auto. And then down, of course, you press, uh, you go all the way down, and then you'll be in semi, and then you can go up to whatever. All right, so let's start with dwell. Um, I'll, I guess I'll briefly explain it now. Um, <clears throat> basically, it's how long the bolt is forward um, when you're during the cycle of the gun. So at first the bolt is backwards, being pushed back by air. Then when the solenoid is tripped, the air goes from the front of the gun uh, and exhausts out the solenoid, actually. Exhausts out the solenoid, and air is pushed into the back, pushing the bolt forward. Um, so basically, it's how long, after the bolt has been pushed forward, how long it takes for it to come back. On many boards and many guns, it'll be measured in milliseconds, but on the Ion stock board and the Ion Blackheart board, it's measured in blips. Basically, just how many uh, flashes of light it is. And uh, I think they're like, I don't know, one and a half milliseconds. I don't know why Smart Parts has to do that, but I don't know, they're just stupid, so they do ridiculous stuff like that. So, so yeah, right now, I don't actually know what I'm at, but I'll just demonstrate. To, to go up, right now we're in yellow, which means dwell up. You press the power button once, and you'll see the red light go on. That means you went up one blip. So, up two blips, up three blips. Okay, so I went up three. So now this is dwell down. One, two, three. So I'm back to where I started. Okay, now we'll go on to recharge. Um, of course, it's usually called rate of fire, but uh, we all use, like to usually call it recharge, because basically the rate of fire was backwards. That's the way I saw it, at least. Um, Yellow means recharge up. Basically, that means it takes longer for your gun to fire. And this basically means it takes less time for your gun to fire. So, naturally, I have the recharge all the way down. Oh, actually it was up one. I don't know why. But, yeah, if you have this all the way down, basically you're getting full capabilities out of your board. Um, if you have to have 15 BPS ramping, um, or 15 BPS cap. This is how you would do it, except you can't get it precise, really. You'd have to be at a chrono and uh, maybe go go up a couple and then try, and then you might have to go up a little bit more or something, but you can't really tourney lock this gun uh, with the stock board, and you can't really decide 15 BPS exactly. Um, so this is how you would change uh, the rate you want, like if you, th if you want your ramping to be a little bit slower or you want your semi-cap to be a little bit slower then you can do it here. Uh, go all the way through again. So yeah, here's recharge, recharge up. So every time you click this, I don't know the measurements or anything, but every time you go up, the uh, it just takes longer for your gun to cycle, basically. And then you can I just go all the way down and leave it at zero. Um, next up is, of course, the mode change. So right now, I'm just going to make sure. Yeah, I'm in semi right now. So... Since I have eyes off, and you can see it's semi and it's not ramping or anything. Uh, then you go up one, then you're in ramping. So you'll see that once you reach, I don't know, it's probably around 8 BPS or, uh, I don't know, maybe less, I don't know. But once you reach a certain amount, it just ramps up and it goes to, it should be about 17 BPS. I don't really know, but it should be. Um, then you go up one more mode, you're in three shot burst. Okay, uh, and go up one more mode, and you should be in auto. Um, I never use three shot burst, and I never use auto, and I usually don't even use ramping. I just I mostly use semi because I'm not one of those cheater kids that uses uh, all the settings on their board. So I just go all the way back down, a straight semi, and that's basically how I roll. <laughs> all right, so there is a tutorial or, uh, yeah, sure, a tutorial of the stock board. Um, <coughs> I know I'm going to get a ton of questions on what dwell is, <coughs> and I'm going to get a ton of questions on what recharge is and all that other jazz, and I'll try to explain it <coughs> in the side, or, <coughs> sorry, um, maybe you'll just have to listen to this video because I sort of explained it. Um, 
If you really need more in depth, I'll try to send you a link to a better um, to a better explanation. But for now, I think this will do. So there is the ion stock board. If you have any questions, just message me. It's easier than in the comments, and I I mean I'll answer questions in the comments usually, but messaging is easier. So anyways, there's the stock board. See you on the field.